We all like to go fast on our bikes, but unfortunately we usually have to pay the sweat tax to get that speed. If you watched my review on the Yeti SB5 Plus, you'd remember that I wasn't a big fan of the Shimano cassette that came on the bike. That jump from 37 to 46 teeth really made me wish there was a gear in between. I would have loved to get the SRAM Eagle group set for the Yeti, but that option was another $900. Add tax onto that and you're looking at a pricey addition to an already expensive bike. I started looking around for other cassettes that would work with the hub and derailleur already on the Yeti. There aren't that many 11 speed cassettes that go up to 46 teeth, and some are more expensive than others. I wanted to keep this upgrade under $100, so there were only two options I could find. The Sunrace CS MX-8 at around $70, and the Box 2 at $90. What's interesting is even though the Box cassette is far more expensive, on paper, the Sunrace and the Box seem identical. Even looking at the pictures, they seemed like twins separated at birth. I decided to indulge some curiosity and ordered both of them. After getting the Sunrace and Box cassette in hand, I confirmed my suspicions. They are the same exact cassette. They likely came from the same factory and were made for Box so they could offer a full drivetrain package. I don't judge Box at all for this. They had enough of a challenge creating a new derailleur and shifter. Trying to innovate cassettes on top of that would have been way too much of a challenge for their engineers. Both the chrome and black version of the Sunrace cassette have bright red markings all over the back and even on the front, and my OCD didn't like how that would look on the Yeti. I decided to send back the Sunrace and keep the box cassette because its white and black finish would go better with the Yeti's color scheme. So how does it compare to the Shimano XT? Well, for the weight weenies, it does add another 42 grams onto your bike, but I personally don't think that's going to be a deal breaker. The shifting on the cassette is pretty good for the price, though I have had some harsh shifts when moving down the cassette. I actually replaced my Shimano XTR chain with a SRAM PCX1 and did notice slightly smoother shifting. It's not terrible, and moving up the cassette is smooth as butter, so I may just need to dial things in a bit more. The other issue I found with the box is if you backpedal on the last cog, you're going to drop the chain something fierce. Now this is only for the 46 tooth cog, so I don't think many people are going to find this to be a huge problem as long as they're aware of it. Of course, the question is, did the box cassette fix the issues that I had with the XT? In a word, yes. I really liked how the box fell out on the trails. It was like I had a gear for every situation and didn't find myself hunting through the cassette. The box has a more progressive curve to it, meaning you'll get into lower ratios much faster than the XT as you move up the cassette. Not everyone's going to like this because you may feel like the bike is geared too low. I personally loved how the gearing felt through the cassette. As I got used to the gearing, I was able to pick the cog that gave me all the torque I needed, even for the chunkiest of climbs. So to sum up, the box component cassette is more pricey than its Sunray sibling. But for some, being able to get an all-black finish to match the rest of their bike could be worth it. The shifting could be a little smoother, but it may just be user error on my part that's causing this, so your mileage may vary. There are some other options out there for wide range cassettes, but for under $100, the Box 2 does offer a good alternative to the Shimano XT. My name is Joseph, and thanks for watching this review.